Uh, we're Michael and Rebecca Miller. This is our daughter, Violet, and we've been at the church since the first service last Easter. Our daughter sleeps during church. Once she got started getting older and naps started becoming more of a thing that we needed to be a little more rigid on, a little bit more routine on, her naps were falling in the middle of church. And so we felt like we were missing out on the community at church. And so when the opportunity arose that we were able to do the community group and be involved, we jumped on that and we even wanted to host it so that we had a, a chance to connect with other couples, but while also being parents as well. The Cullums were really, they're family to us. And so they have been instrumental in the churches we've been a part of, the communities we've been a part of, groups we've been a part of. Um, and so them moving was, was hard. Them, before they left, they introduced us to, you know, to you and, and Hannah and Sean, uh, and that helped us as we uh, started this journey and started going to these groups to make those connections. And um, now I see y'all more than I see some of our other friends we had before we started doing these groups. And also you're even getting together with some of the guys to do D&D &D night and some of the girls too. So it's getting you out and doing something social, which is really good for you. And I've also been connecting with the women, uh, with Mac and Hannah and some of the other girls, and even went to the women's ministry bunko night that I would have not known if they didn't say something at community group, which is good for me as a mom, a first time mom. I need to make friends, and that was really important to me that I was able to get out and do that. You know, you can, you can read the Bible, you can hear a sermon, but being able to deeply dive into it and talk through things and make connections in your life with the scripture that you're reading and talking about, I think is is very helpful. If you're on the fence, just knowing that like people have your back for stuff. Like if anything ever happened, like you have people praying for you, the people actually know you by name, they know you by heart. And so having that village is so important and people that you can communicate, talk to and confide in is so much more powerful in my opinion. Like to be able to look back after a year and say, we were able to do almost every single Sunday together, that we had a meal together, we dove into the Word together, and you know, developed and strengthened these friendships. Um, I think that's what I'd like to see, and then you know, see us all continue to progress through life together and have that, that bond and that friendship and that um, be strengthened. That was a, a huge part of our spiritual journey as well with, you know, Kate and Dustin before they left was, you know, we were close with them when we had Violet, when they had their girls. And so seeing us all progress through those major milestones in our life and doing that with um, other followers and with, you know, they say it takes a village. And so we, we love our village and we want to continue growing it.